what's up y'all and welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we have a client tutorial for you just a disclaimer my shirt has makeup stains on it you have to wear old shirts because you don't want to get stained so let's get into this video i was using my la girl pro concealer and a flat brush to stencil out her brows and in today's video it's going to be a natural glam so just sit back and watch i'll put everything i use in the description box below and when we're stenciling out the brows we have to be extra careful so one at a time my head was in the camera don't judge me i was just focusing because i don't want the brows to look like cousins you want the brows to look like sisters Using my Reed Technique setting brush to blend out the rest of the concealer on the eyelids. We're just prepping the lids for the eyeshadow. So I took my loose setting powder and my Reed Technique setting brush to set the lid so it doesn't crease when I apply the shadow. Then I took my Sanity Primer to moisturize and prime her face. You should always use a primer to keep your skin hydrated before you apply your foundation. Then I'm going to take my Milk of Magnesia to keep the face matte and sweat proof so the makeup will last longer. First, I took my Juvia's Place 2 palette and I took the orange color for a transition color but then I switched over to my favorite Juvia's Place palette which is the Magic palette and I took the brown in that palette as the transition color. Using my Ray Techniques blending eyeshadow brush to blend the brown at the outer V of her height, we're using this as a transition color. We're not going to cover the lid space with the color because we're going to use a white shadow in the inner part of her crease.
making sure this transition color is well blended because we don't want any harsh line on the lid place. You want every eyeshadow to look flawless and well blended. Then I took the douche by Juvia's Place palette and I used the darkest shade in the palette to darken up the inner crease. Using the same palette and a flat retechnic brush, and I'm using the white matte shade in the palette to apply to her inner crease. Using my NYX black liquid liner to draw her wing and we're not going to do any dramatic wing today because it's her graduation glam so we're going to do something simple then I apply some beauty supply natural lashes on her lash line
after I applied her lashes, I took some mascara just to blend in her lash with the false lash which I applied. Now it's time to apply foundation. I use my Super Stay Foundation 24 hours and it's in the shade 366 Warm Bronze. And I use a flat small brush just to apply the foundation all over her skin. Then I use my flat dense foundation brush just to buff in the foundation in her skin notice i am not swiping i'm buffing it into the skin so i can get a more full coverage look Using a smaller retainer brush just to blend in the foundation in the crease of her face or in the inner parts of her face.
when we're finished with the foundation we're going to conceal so i took my la girl pro concealer in the shade fawn and i placed it under her eyes or on the highlighted areas Then I took my Maybelline Fit Me Full Coverage Concealer just to give under the eye a more popping look. Then we're going to take our Re Technique Setting Brush and we're going to blend out the concealer or blend out the highlighted areas. Now I took my Sasha and my Banana Buttercup Light Translucent Powder to set the highlighted areas. Using my Maybelline Fit Me to contour her nose.
Then I took my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette from Light to Medium and I used the lightest shade to set all over her face or to dust away the setting powder from under the eyes. using my Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to use a dark shade in the palette to contour her cheekbones. To set her makeup, I use my NYX Long Lasting Setting Spray to set everything in place and to get rid of the powdery look. Then I took my Black Red and True Complexion Contour Palette and I used the Shima Shade for her highlight. And this is the finished look, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to post some pictures so you see the results. And this is the final result, y'all. I just top it off with some chrome gloss. Remember to get your chrome gloss from me, Downs. And thank you all for watching.